हेलो व्यूवर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ टेलर्स थियरम राइट एंड हेयर विल प्रूव दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट इन इक्वालिटी यूजिंग टेलर्स थियरम राइट सो हेयर वी हैव द इन इक्वालिटी वन प्लस एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर ओवर टू इज लेस देन ई रेज टू एक्स एंड दिस इज फर्दर लेस देन वन प्लस एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर ओवर टू टाइम्स ई रेज टू एक्स फॉर ऑल एक्स ग्रेटर देन जीरो राइट सो इन दिस लेक्चर विल प्रूव दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट इन इक्वालिटी यूजिंग टेलर्स थ्योरम राइट एंड हेयर आई विल सी द टेलर्स थ्योरम विद लेग्रेंजेस फॉर्म ऑफ रिमाइंडर so here i uh, will apply uh, the taylor's theorem with lagrange's form of remainder right so let us uh, uh, write taylor's theorem so taylor's theorem can be written as f of a plus h is equal to f of a plus uh, h times f prime of a plus h square over factorial 2 and f double prime of a and up to uh, the term that is uh, uh, here we have h raised to n and here we have factorial n and the nth derivative of f and here we have a plus theta h right so this is the uh, statement of taylor's theorem uh, with lagrange's form of remainder right so here uh, this term is known as the lagrange's uh, form of remainder right that is after uh, n terms so we can write rn as the lagrange's uh, remainder and this is uh, h raised to n divided by factorial n and here we have the nth derivative of f at a plus theta h right so in this form of taylor's theorem uh, we have taken the closed interval a and a plus h right and this uh, term that is theta is the uh, important term in uh, lagrange's theorem that is the mean value theorem and this theta it lies between 0 and 1 right so now in order to prove this inequality uh, let us write this taylor's theorem uh, by replacing uh, h by x and a by 0 right so now uh, this statement takes the form f of a plus h so a is replaced by 0 and h by x so we have 0 plus x here and then we have f of 0 then we have h h is x so we have x f prime of 0 and then we have h square that is x square over factorial 2 and f double prime of 0 and so on up to uh, this term so we have x raised to n divided by factorial n and the nth derivative of f and here we have 0 plus uh, theta x right so now uh, let us uh, rewrite this uh, statement so we have f of x 0 plus x is x and we have f of 0 x f prime of 0 and then we have x square over factorial 2 f double prime of 0 and so on up to x raised to n factorial uh, n Uh, here we have factorial n and then we have the nth derivative uh, of f and here we have theta x right so now we have this form of taylor's theorem right and uh, now here i uh, will assume uh, this function f of x as e raised to x right and will define Uh, this function f of x is equal to e raised to x in 
the interval that is x greater than 0 or we can write the interval as 0 comma x. Now let us write uh, the remainder uh, after two terms that is let us take n is equal to 2 right. So we can now write uh, this uh, statement as f of x so we have f of 0 plus uh, x f prime of 0 then we have x square taking uh, n is equal to 2 or writing the remainder uh, only after two terms we have x square over factorial 2 and here we have f uh, double prime because uh, uh, n is 2 so we have second derivative and here we have uh, theta x right so now uh, writing only the uh, remainders uh, after two terms uh, we have uh, this expression right so now uh, let us find uh, f prime of x right so f prime of x is the derivative of e raised to x which is e raised to x and the second derivative of uh, this function e raised to x is again e raised to x right okay now uh, let us uh, find f prime of 0 because here we require f uh, f of 0 right so f of 0 is e raised to 0 because f of x is e raised to x so this is 1 f prime of 0 is uh, again e raised to 0 because f prime of x is e raised to x so this is 1 right okay and here uh, f double prime of theta x that is uh, uh, that can be obtained by replacing x by theta x here so f prime f double prime of theta x is equal to e raised to theta x right so now let us substitute all these values in this equation so f of x is e raised to x and f of 0 is 1 then we have x uh, times f prime of 0 which is 1 and then we have x square over uh, factorial 2 factorial 2 is uh, simply 2 times 1 that is 2 and f double prime of theta x is e raised to theta x right so now uh, we have e raised to x is equal to 1 plus x plus x square over 2 e raised to theta x. So now we have uh, this equation right now let us consider this theta. So now theta is uh, greater than 0 but it is less than 1. So theta lies between 0 and uh, 1. Right. So now let us multiply uh, this inequality throughout by x. Right. And remember uh, x is greater than 0. Right. So when x is greater than 0 uh, then the direction of the inequality uh, cannot be changed. Right. It remains the same. So multiplying throughout by x we have 0 here we have theta x and here we have x. So now uh, raising all these three terms to the power of e we get e raised to 0 e raised to theta x and e raised to x right so what we have done here we have raised these three terms to the power of e why because uh, see this function f of x uh, is equal to e raised to x is an increasing function right so f of x is equal to e raised to x is an increasing function so we can raise uh, these three terms to the power of e uh, keeping the direction of the uh, inequalities uh, unchanged so now e raised to uh, 0 is 1 and here we have e raised to theta x and here we have e raised to x right so now we have this inequality so now what we will do further uh, we can uh, multiply this inequality throughout by x square uh, over 2 right because see x is a positive quantity.
so x square over 2 is also a positive quantity so now uh, we have here x square over 2 times 1 is x square over 2 then we have x square over 2 e raised to theta x and here we have x square over 2 uh, e raised to x right so why we have multiply uh, this inequality by x square over 2 because see here uh, we want this term that is x square over 2 times e raised to theta x so here x square over 2 e raised to theta x so now uh, let us add uh, this quantity 1 plus x uh, throughout this inequality right so we'll get 1 plus x plus x square over 2 then here we have 1 plus x plus x square over 2 e raised to theta x and here we have 1 plus x plus x square over 2 e raised to uh, x right so what we have done we have added uh, 1 plus x throughout uh, this inequality right so now we can see that this expression that is 1 plus x plus x square over 2 e raised to theta x is equal to e raised to x so we have 1 plus x plus x square over 2 and this uh, entire quantity is equal to e raised to x and here we have 1 plus x plus x square over 2 e raised to x right for all x uh, greater than 0 right and this inequality is same as this inequality right so this is how by making use of uh, Taylor's theorem uh, we can solve or we can uh, prove this inequality